Yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing a Depop versus eBay as a seller. Uh, in the future I will be doing as a buyer, but basically how this is going to work is I'm going to go through uh, the similarities and differences and what's good about eBay, what's good about Depop. Um, if you are a seller, as I think that will be quite informative for people who kind of like, I know a lot of people kind of uh, choose one platform over the other, but if you're kind of indecisive or like you don't know which one's better, then this might give you some information that you might have already known you might have already not known um, but hopefully it helps some people anyway and uh, you find this informative also um, hit 300 subs the other day and I couldn't be more thankful so thank you so much to everyone who supported the videos um, and all the new subscribers uh, hopefully you can continue to grow um, this is something I really enjoy doing and you know it'd be cool to kind of um, grow grow the channel up um, so I can bring more content to you guys um, and one of the reasons that I am basically making this video is because uh, my original Depop video, which was the Depop Beginner Guide, um, has got over 1.2k views now, which is just crazy. Um, and I think a lot of like the new subscribers have come from videos like that and the other videos that have a lot of views. Um, so I thought people kind of like them sort of videos, so it would make sense to make more. Um, so yeah, anyway gonna be the way I'm gonna be doing this is run through the similarities the differences and then you know what's good about either so we'll start with the similarities if I look this direction it's because um, I've got stuff written on the whiteboard and I need to, I like I can't remember them all on top of my head but anyway the first point is uh, the similarities about them both so the first one is that you can list an item this may sound silly but a lot of platforms don't allow anybody to list an item whereas if you go onto depot or if you go onto ebay you can make an account and list an item straight away and get started um started selling your items and making money um so yeah that is a good feature about both of them they obviously list an item um and as i said yeah not all platforms allow you to do that so i think for them to allow you to just do that and start straight away is a really good feature um, description so like another thing that you may just kind of think well obviously but to um, like a lot of places don't let like have a good description so like at least on Depop and eBay you are you have like a good lengthy place that you can write a description about the item um, and as long as you're honest like it, the description always is pretty good um, and then obviously you've got like the size um, and a new thing they've added in Depop which was already in eBay was the brand so you can now list uh, pretty much most brands unless they're kind of like off brands that um, you can list them on your item like before you would have put it in the description it would have come up when they search for that but now people can search for the brand and you can obviously like put what brand it is and I think that's good for generating sales um, just as people like before it might have been a little bit more difficult because you had to be more specific but now you can just search for the brand and go like straight away so it, you know it kind of gets rid of a lot of people before would um would have like an item and they would like just write supreme palace and stuff in the in the description and then when someone is actually looking for supreme palace um they would just come up with all these items that had nothing to do with supreme or anything um but they're just putting them in the description because obviously that generates like more traffic to their items but now you can search for the brand and i'm sure like that stuff still comes up but it just kind of makes it a little bit better to filter out some of the nonsense um oh as a phone um so uh what's next so the next thing which is a similarity but they are slightly different in each one which doesn't really make sense for you you'll understand in a minute um is that they both charge a 10 percent fee uh so the way it works the way that i the reason i say that this is different is because the way they charge it is different <laughs> anyway on depop uh if you've used depop before also just want to quickly apologize any background noise uh, some neighbors are getting some work done and they're using like a chainsaw or something that's really really loud and really annoying but just wanted to get this video done so i can get it out to you guys uh, but anyway the reason that i said this is different is because if you sold something on depop before you'll know that the buyer gets charged or you know that you will get charged straight away and i think that's better than getting charged at the end but that's just my personal opinion but the way it works on ebay is you get charged 10 percent at the end of the month so you'll get all the money in your paypal straight away and then the end of the month you'll have like so say you sell 100 pound worth of stuff so you get charged 10 percent which is obviously uh, 10 pounds. Uh, so you'll have the 10 pounds to pay at the end of the month. But the thing with me is that when I sell stuff on eBay, I forget that I have to pay this money. So it's just really like annoying for me. Like I'd prefer it just to come out straight away. So it's just done, 
you don't have to worry about that payment ever again um, unless you're obviously get like a refund or something but um, but yeah I think that's kind of better on Depop but some people I'm sure prefer to kind of have the money straight away they can spend then like if they get paid at the end of the month from their job then they can pay off their eBay bill or whatever but personally I prefer it um, the Depop way um, right so we're getting to there are just a few of the similarities there are obviously other like very like um, what's the word very obvious similarities between them as they are quite similar but I'm gonna get onto. I don't want to like bore you with the things that you already know. I'm gonna get onto a couple of the differences that are kind of like sway me or sw would sway you to use the one rather than the other. So anyway, we're gonna start with uh, start with eBay. So eBay um, also charges other fees for other things like relisting certain products or if you use a buy it now on an auction or maybe just a buy it now in, in general. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, you have that, and uh, I think like sometimes it's a bit misleading. I know it says that um, it does say on there like you'll be charged this fee, but for some reason I always have problems with Depop fees. So I'll sell something and I'll be like, no eBay fees, sorry, and I'll, I'll sell something and I'll be like, at the end of the month it will say, oh your bill is this, and I'll be like, but I haven't like sold anything or I haven't sold. That's like twenty percent or something like that. I don't know how Depop fees, eBay fees work. I find them quite confusing. Whereas compared to e. Um, Compared to Depop, I think Depop's a lot more simple. Uh, you just get charged a flat 10% fee every sale that's made on Depop, and then obviously you get the PayPal goods and services fee um, as well, which is I believe 3.5% plus 20p or 3.5% plus. I think it's 3.5% plus 20 20p. I can't remember, but something like that. Um, but yeah, so I think that's just that's just easy. You just know pretty much every time what's gonna what's gonna be done. Whereas on eBay, I find it a bit more confusing personally. But then again, I'm probably more biased to Depop as I use that. Um, another thing that's different about eBay, and this one I think is really good, uh, is the auction ability. I think the auctions are a really good thing. So obviously, some items I've done auctions with, um, and you like, I don't know how much it goes for, or I want to see if I can get a bit more than I would ask, or if I just want to list something up and just get rid of it for whatever it goes for. You can just list something up for an auction. It doesn't. It's free, I believe, um, and I think that's a really good feature, which like would be cool if they had Depop but I just don't think it would work um, as the way the structure of Depop is but I think it's cool and I think it's a good thing that uh, is in eBay and a lot of people that's why a lot of people go in there um, so another thing uh, that's different about uh, eBay is that this is also a good thing is that there's more pictures you can add so um, on Depop you're limited to four pictures only, which I think is a bit of a shame sometimes because you sometimes need to show all the details. A lot of items, you know, it would just be like, if it's a t-shirt, it would just be the front print, maybe the label, um, and then if there's a defect, you can show that. Whereas on eBay, you can show like, if you've got something with really cool details and you want to get like a lot of pictures, you can show that and you can like get really good pictures of everything. And uh, I think that's cool. I think that's a good feature and like, I'm glad that's in and I hope, 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 hope that Depop bring in a feature where you can add more pictures soon. Uh, Depop have just brought in a new feature. Well, it's not that new. It's like came out like a couple of months ago um, where you can uh, select multiple pictures, um, which honestly is something that's so small, but it affects like the effect of it is just so big to me. Like I remember before I was trying to list like a hundred items up and I would have to like keep going back, keep going up to the top, keep going up like that. Whereas now if, if I was to do that, I could lit, click like the four pictures that I wanted for that item and that's done, that item's done. Whereas before I'd have to, yeah, as I said, go up four times for each item, it just takes so long. So I'm glad they've done this now. Um, and yeah, I think that was already on eBay anyway, but it's just something that's kind of small, but it makes a really big difference. Um, what else have I got? Oh, okay, so finally my final point, what I think is good for eBay, or what is different about eBay, is it is good for drop shipping. If you don't know what drop shipping is, it's basically where you are selling someone else's product um, and then you'll buy it, like you get the payment and then you buy it like as if you were them. So uh, a lot of people do this with Shopify and stuff like that. But then eBay is a very popular way that people do it. So they'll list an item with just stock images that you get off AliExpress, blah, 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 blah. And uh, and then yeah, so you'll just list it up for like a margin that's say like, like 50%. So you'll get like, 
you'll get double the price and then you'll just fill in their details on aliexpress and get it sent to them and it's like just works so you don't have to deal with the stock you can just make you can just make the margin on it basically and uh, everyone's happy uh, so i think that is a, a lot easier to do on ebay than it is on depop um just simply because you know ebay's are like more on computer whereas you can't actually do anything on depop and that's another thing you can't list items for sale on depop which can be a bit annoying personally i just use my phone anyway so uh, ebay is a lot more user friendly for or on desktop than the phone on uh, depop anyway i know i've been blabbing on i um, will try and get through this quite quickly but um anyway the we'll get onto the depop things now so obviously a lot of these things counter what i've said about the deep like the ebay so the different that like you can only have four pictures on depop um what else have i got here oh i think just finishing off with like two of the main points about what's different about depop and ebay that i think that is depop's better um so depop i would say um has a very very good user profile so you can go on someone's profile and it's like instagram you know or like twitter or whatever you can go on there look at all their stuff it has their bio it's got their ratings it's got their um products all down and it's very easy to see whereas if you go on ebay it's a little bit more difficult there's not too much they don't have a bio they don't have pictures they don't have like whatever it's a bit more complicated and also the the way that the feedback works on um ebay i find is a little bit weird and also a lot of like kind of people scam you doing that um but yeah anyway i think the user profile on depop is so good and that's why it's so good it's so good and that's why i personally prefer it um but also it's more of a social app i would say the depop it's more like a uh, comparative mixing with like it's mixing ebay and instagram together kind of i mean people don't really i like i wouldn't go on ebay and find like find like a like a dude and then start just chatting to him like say like i like your items i don't know just start chatting to someone like that but i think it's a, like it's good because you're you can very easily dm people you can very easily message people i know you can on ebay as well but i personally prefer depop a lot um it's just that whole social element and that user thing and like the way that you have the explore page and you can check out new pages new people and everything i think is just really good and uh, i prefer that about depop which is personally why i like use depop more um as i like to kind of build my profile up whereas on ebay um i i don't even like i don't know i just don't like using ebay to sell stuff really sometimes i do um but i am maybe being a bit biased as i've said but anyway guys that's kind of been I've, like, I know I've waffled on a lot and I have a tendency to do that but uh, let me know what you thought anyway in the comments down below and uh, make sure to leave a like if you did like the video it would mean a lot and subscribe if you're new hopefully we can get to 400 subs quicker than we got to 200 to 300 um, and anyway guys yeah I'll see you next time peace Bye.